We're here at Scarborough Castle for our open residence day and we're here with Wild Eye and the Yorkshire Wildlife Trust. It's a great day where families can come up within the Scarborough community for free and make the most of this beautiful site. We're here with Sea Watch volunteer Stuart Baines and the Wild Eye stand behind me where we're showing families all about the wonderful wildlife to be found on the doorsteps. So what I'm looking for today is dolphins, porpoise and maybe even whales and it's a great place to look for them. They just give you a buzz when you see them. It's Blue Planet on your doorstep. Um, I live just round on North Bay on the seafront, so I've seen the dolphins and the minke whale out through my window. But to actually come here with other people watching at this Wild Eye event, it's absolutely amazing. I think everybody should come here. It's, it's a fantastic experience. And when you see one jump out of the water, we all jump up as well. Yeah, it's a, a brilliant event for children. Like we like to bring them. It's, it's good for them to you know, get hands on with this sort of thing and, and, and learn about it. They enjoy seaside and it's good having it on your doorstep. So it's, a, it's a good experience for them. We're here at Scarborough Castle um, with the Yorkshire Wildlife Trust and their Wild Eye Project uh, with our new children's picture book, Nettle and Doc, which is a story about an age-old friendship, a folkloric relationship. Um, Sasha is the author and I'm the illustrator. And it brings interactive nature adventures to children uh, and builds early literacy. So we hope to inspire the next generation to have nature adventures, really. The sculpture I'm sitting on has been here since last May. It was made by Ryan Gander. It's part of the Wild Eye Project, which will put sculptures between here and Whitby. It's a reminder of climate changes. We have a special open day People from the local community may come up and see the sculpture and the representatives from Wild Eye are here showing off the next of the sculptures which is going to go up down on the quayside. So through these nature experiences, art projects like the wonderful Ryan Gander sculpture we've got up here, it gets people thinking in different ways about how they can help wildlife and enjoy it.